Hello and thank you for joining me here at DJ's Movie Reviews. I write short movie reviews for people with short attention spans. Please be aware that spoilers are always possible. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Also like this video, hit that bell icon to get notifications about new content, and be sure to leave me a comment. Today's movie is about Alita, Battle Angel. This movie was directed by Robert Rodriguez, who also directed El Mariachi, Desperado, From Dusk Till Dawn, The Faculty, Machete, and Machete 2, or Machete Kills as they call it, just to name a few. This movie stars Rosa Salazar from Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, Christoph Waltz from Django Unchained, Jennifer Connelly from American Pastoral, Mahershala Ali from Green Book, Ed Skrine from Midway, and Jackie Earl Haley from The Watchmen. The plot of this movie is a deactivated female cyborg is revived, but cannot remember anything about her past life, and goes on a quest to find out who she is. What I think. This movie is visually stimulating, right from the get-go. The landscapes are a mixture of an apocalyptic world, and in a way, stylistically peaceful. This film takes place in the year 2563, which is 300 years after a war with a Mars colony. In this future, humans are able to fabricate and install mechanical limbs to replace limbs that they have lost. In some cases, the entire body can be replaced, as long as the brain is still able to function in some cohesive manner. Our main character, Alita, is discovered by Dr. Ito as only a head and a pile of debris dumped from a floating city. He uses a mechanical body that he has just lying around in his workshop to put Alita back together. And this is when everything goes crazy. From bounty hunting to extreme death sports, this movie has plenty of action. Rose Salazar played the part of Alita very well, giving her the curiosity of a child when she's reanimated and the spirit of a warrior during the action scenes. She gave Alita an emotional edge that made her more human than robot and gave her the ability to love with all of her heart, in some cases literally. There are a number of storylines involved in this movie, but in the end the story is this. Alita must figure out who she is, how she became who she is, and how can she get to the floating city all while avoiding death on a daily basis. There are parts in the movie that drag just a little bit and feel out of place within the story among all of the action. I feel that these little details could have just been skimmed over. Mind you, Robert Rodriguez is a great director, and I have nothing but mad respect for this man. But this movie may have just had way too much crammed into it for just one movie. If you like science fiction movies, copious amounts of CGI, strange plot lines, and characters, and a little bit of a romance story thrown in there for, you know, good measure, then you might like this movie. I am personally going to give it three and a half of five stars. Thank you very much for listening. Again, subscribe, hit the like button, bell icon to get notifications when I release content, and feel free to leave a comment so we could talk about this particular title. So thank you for joining me. I've enjoyed your company here at DJ's Movie Reviews. I'll see you later.